Hello kitty queens and kitty beauty tees. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this oil spill smoky eye and we're jumping straight into this tutorial. I'm starting this video off by cleaning my model's face and to clean her face I'm using some witch hazel on a cotton pad. Now I'm just going to start doing her eyebrows and first I'm going to brush them out with the spoolie side of my Nika K eyebrow pencil and then I'm going to begin to outline them and to outline them I'm using my Nika K eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade black but I'm making sure that I'm as light handed as possible when I use the shade black just because I don't want it to look too black so keep that in mind if you decide to use this shade. Now that both of the brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. And to fill them in, I'm also using the same shade, which is black. I'm going to make sure I brush through the brows as I go so everything can be blended and not too dark. For the front of her brows, I'm taking a different Nika K pencil. This one is in the shade light brown. And I like to take a lighter shade at the front just to make sure everything blends nicely. Before I move on to cleaning up her brows, I'm going to take some eyelash glue and just brush it throughout her eyebrows. I like to use this to mold the eyebrow hairs down in place. So I'm going over it with my spoolie and I'm using it to smooth everything out. To clean up her brows, I'm using these two Nika K concealers in the shades 07 and 03. First, I'm going in with the shade 03 because it's lighter, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. For me personally, when I'm working on clients or myself, I like to highlight the arch of the brow, which is why I decide to go in with two shades. If you don't like to do that, then you could just go ahead and use one. Thank you. 
now I'm going in with shade number seven and I'm gonna be using this to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows. Before I move on to cleaning up the top, I'm just going to go ahead and buff these two concealers out. Now that we have one clean brow, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this other side and I'm gonna be following the same routine. Now that the brows are complete, I'm gonna take my Dermablend Translucent Powder and just press this at the front of the brows to lighten them up a little bit more. And I'm also gonna be using this to set some of the concealer in place. Once that's finished, we're gonna be moving on to the eyeshadow. So first things first, I'm taking my Elf Camo Concealer and I'm gonna be using this as an eyeshadow base. I applied a small amount onto her lids and now I'm just buffing it out.
For today's eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I took the first four shades at the top which are Keen, Boy By, Wasted, and Reckless. First, I'm going in with the shade Reckless which is like this deep plum color and I'm packing this on the outer edge of her eye. I'm going to be honest and tell y'all that this was another creative look that I just thought of as I went on because while filming this look y'all I had no idea what I wanted to do but as y'all can see it all worked out so I'm packing that on now I'm taking a small amount of the color boy by which was that vibrant orange shade and I'm just using this to blend out the edges I'm taking a small amount of the color Keen, which was that bright yellow shade, and I'm applying it right on top of Boy Bye. Next, I'm going to be taking this green shade and I'm going to be working this on her lids using this blending brush. I forgot to show it on camera, but it comes from the Be Perfect Carnival XL palette as well. And the shade name of it is The Hype. I wanted this green to be like more of a lime green so I'm taking the color Keen which is that bright yellow shade and I'm applying it right on top of it. I'm also going to be applying that color towards the inner portions of her eye but I made sure I kept the inner corner blank. I'm going back in with the shade Reckless, which was that first shade that we used, and I'm using it to blend out the edge of her eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be going on her lids with these three pigments. Two are from Ashley Lee Cosmetics in the shade Supernova and Orient's Gold. And the other one is from P. Louise. First I'm going in with the P. Louise pigment and I'm going to be applying this on the inner corners of her eyes and on top of the yellow shade. Now I'm going in with the shade Orient's Gold, which as y'all can see is like a yellow gold shade. And I applied this on top of the yellow shade that we use and a little bit on top of the green shade that we use. Now I'm taking the shade Supernova, which is like this grayish purple type color, and I'm applying this on the edge of her eyeshadow, so on top of the green. You really didn't have to use green. I guess you could have just used purple, but I don't care, y'all. My look came out cute. So yeah, I'm just applying it on top of the green, and I'm also going to be applying it on top of a little bit of the yellow. Next, I'm going to line her eyes using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner.
I'm blending out the edge of her liner using this black eyeshadow and I'm just pressing this right into her crease. Now I'm taking the color Wasted, which is a bright purple shade, and I'm just blending this onto her eyeshadow and on top of the last pigment that we used. And once we're finished applying this purple shade, that is it for her eyes. So we're moving right on to her face. I went ahead and cleaned and moisturized her face off camera. Now I'm just taking my calamine lotion and I'm using this to prime her skin. So I'm going to focus this in her T-zone. But I just want y'all to get into the eyeshadow, okay? It's giving very much oil spill. It's giving gas leak in the sunset. Like, period. This color combo is just... It's everything for me, okay? Now I'm taking my Real Technique sponge and I'm using it to press this calamine lotion into her skin. For her foundations, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and my Fit Me Foundation. The shade names are on the screen. First, I'm going in with the Maybelline Foundation, which was in the color Toffee Caramel, I believe. And I'm just working this into the inner portions of her face. And once we get to the Fit Me Foundation, I'm going to be applying it to the lower portion of her face. To press these two shades in, I'm going to be going in with this dense foundation brush. To highlight her face, I'm going in with these two concealers in the shade Medium Peach and 03. And I just mixed them together. I mixed more of 03 than I did Medium Peach. And now I'm just applying the concoction to her face. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation.
I'm gonna let the concealer sit under her eyes a little longer and I'm just gonna go ahead and contour and to contour her face I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Sokoto and I'm gonna be blending it out using that same brush that I used to blend out her concealer and her foundation Now I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer under her eyes and to do so I'm using my Real Techniques sponge. To set the concealer in place I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Pure Beige. Now I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana and I'm using this to further mattify her face. I'm going in with another Fit Me Press Powder in the shade Mocha and I'm using this to set the contoured areas of her face. To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with another Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Toffee. It's time to do her under eyes, so I'm taking this LA Colors Neon Gel Eyeliner Pencil and I believe it's in the shade Vivid Blue and I'm applying this to her waterline. Now I'm just taking a blue eyeshadow from my Carnival XL palette and I'm using this to smoke out her lower lash line. Now that her under eyes are complete, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and use it to press in any powder that I have resting on her face. I'm going to spray her face with some setting spray to remove any type of powder cast. I went ahead and cut her lashes to fit her eyes off camera. Now I'm just applying them to her lash line. This is like a random pair of lashes that I ordered off AliExpress and they're kind of short shorter than what we normally do just because I wanted the main focus to be her eyeshadow but they're still like medium density like they're kind of thick but not too thick
So as y'all can see, her eyelashes are on and she looking real cute. So we're gonna be moving on to the last two steps, which is highlight. So first I'm highlighting the tip and the bridge of her nose. And to highlight her face, I'm just using a champagne colored eyeshadow. Now it's time to do these lips. So for her lips, I decided to keep them matte for today's look, but they are going to be nude. So I'm just going ahead and lining her lips using my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. Now I'm going in with the liquid lipstick from Zarura. I used this in my last client tutorial, but it's in the shade number 39. You can find their company on Instagram. And I'm applying this to the inner portions of her lips using this disposable lip wand. Once I've worked the liquid lipstick on the inside, I'm going to use whatever excess product is left on the wand and just blend it into the liner. So the lips are complete and we're stepping into the grand reveal. Okay, you ready to see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you got me right too with these braids on the side. But it's giving, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm, like, I'm doing acting like this the phone. Period. But I love it. This glitter and then the I blue. always love the blue. <laughs> it just always gives what's supposed to be gave. Very mm. good. Oh, I gotta get on snap. <laughs> okay, queens, it's the end of this video. As y'all can see, this tutorial was another success. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to see more client content, feel free to visit my Instagram. A link will be in the description box down below. Bye-bye, queens.